Hello, everyone. I'm Ezekiel Bruni, writer, nerd, and sometimes web designer here at Website Planet. Well, I do the web design for me, not for Website Planet. Whatever. The point is, today we're to going to talk about benchmark email. Benchmark, hold on, let me just switch it over, this is email marketing that won't slow you down. <laughs> At least that's what they say. Basically, it's an email marketing service that is designed to be streamlined and generally as simple as possible. The whole uh, point is to spend less time setting things up and customizing everything and just watching your contact list grow, spend more time just seeing profits. Well, how does that work? I went in undercover to find out. Let's have a quick look at some of the features as soon as I've told you that there is a link to a full review down in the description. I wrote this particular review for Website Planet some time back and this whole video review is based on my experiences with the service. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's look at the actual emails. As you can see, I've already sent out a few tests, but creating an email is pretty simple. You just hit that create email button and you can choose a regular email or an RSS email, which will be automatically sent uh, whenever you update, say your blog or any RSS feed. I love this feature. I love RSS. RSS needs more love in general. Now, one thing that's really cool is you can use the drag and drop editor with pre-made templates. You can use a code editor to write your own HTML and copy or copy, you know, or paste it from another source, or you can use a plain text editor. Basically, the plain text editor provides a few basic templates and then you just type and that's it. No fancy layout or anything. There we go. Okay, it'll ask you to put in some information, who's sending, who's receiving the email, then you'll get to actually design it. You can start with some blank layouts, you can start with past emails, or you can pick a template. And I'm just going to pick a quick and easy template here. They're all rather good, they look a bit minimalist, they're trending towards the modern, all in all, I'm happy enough with the templates that Benchmark Email provides. No biggie. The actual email editor is really simple, actually. You just, you can add images like this, drag and drop images in, or, you know, choose from images you already have. You can drag and drop in text. Uh, and there's just some different layouts here. You've got your social sharing buttons, a navigation bar. Uh, you can put in dividers, all that good stuff. You can also change the global styles, so you can change the colors of the template you've already chosen. And it's actually creating the email is simple stuff. It'll take a little time. It'll take a little uh, learning. Uh, there's probably going to be a bit of a learning curve. That's life. But all in all, I am happy with how easy it is to design a custom email. And you can even start from scratch and not use a template, which I it's great. I love it. And then, you know, you can save it. You can save a next and then you can you know, add the rest of the information you need and send it out to your contact list. It's that simple, it's that easy. Let's quickly go through some things like the contact lists. I created several different contact lists. Uh, they're easy enough to create. You can just make a new one. Uh, targeted lists is a cool feature available on the paid plans. And basically it allows Benchmark Email to create special lists for you. But you can import contacts from T uh, XLS, that's Excel files, CSV files, a classic always good, and comma separate, uh, regular uh, text files. You can also copy and paste uh, your emails in, manually add them one by one, or import them from tools like Google Contacts, Zoho Office, Microsoft Dynamics Contact, uh, CRM, and, you know, more. Get out of here. I don't need your help. <laughs> uh, there's also excellent, cool features such as segmentation. Now, segmentation allows you to create sort of dynamically updated lists. For example, if you want a list of people who joined from France in the past year or after a certain date, you know, since 2021, Every time somebody joins, uh, signs up for your newsletter and they're in France and it's after 2021, the list will automatically get updated. Creating new segments is pretty simple. Uh, you can select a source contact list. 
And then you select criteria. So you can uh, choose contacts by things like first name, middle name, email address, company name, job title. You have to have all this information, of course, to use this feature, but it is useful. It is good. There are also nice little things like automation. Automation basically allows you to you know, do things like, for example, send welcome emails to new subscribers or send automated birthday reminders. Now, you only have three automations available to you, three specific pre-made automations available to you on the light plan. You have to pay for one of the higher tier premium plans to get access to custom automations so you can do whatever you want. But for example, you can send birthday and anniversary emails, send timed emails based on exact dates, that sort of thing. Automation is useful and good and definitely speeds up the process of email marketing overall. To wrap up this section on features, I should note that there you can get some fairly detailed reports on how many people are opening your emails, clicking the links, bouncing, unsubscribing. You can also get geolocation-based reports to see where people are opening your emails from. All that good stuff. You can also A-B test your emails, but you got to do this with the paid plan. But, you know... The, the, being able to figure out which emails work better for your audience, like what how what style of email works better, which design works better, it's great. And lastly, you can integrate Benchmark with over 1,500 different services. So Google, Facebook, Flickr, Zapier, Shopify, WordPress. They have specific plugins for WordPress and a specific app for Shopify. All right, and uh, I should notice there are a couple of other features like uh, fancy landing page builder and things like that, but we don't have space for all of that in this video. So if you want the full review, again, check the link in the description below. And now I should mention some of the other details about Benchmark Email. It has pretty solid deliverability features, as in features designed to make sure your emails get where they're supposed to go. It has DKIM authentication, which is basically a uh, a technique that uses encryption to make sure that email services know that your emails are really coming from you specifically from your company benchmark email has a very strong anti-spam stance anti-spam policy which is essential to making sure emails go through because you know if a service is if an email service isn't trusted then you know it just uh you know the big email providers stop it can be kind of annoying if someone else uses the same service to spend, send a bunch of spam uh we tested to see whether or not um i, li I uploaded a list of spam uh, known spam email addresses and the list was put under review immediately and none of the spam email addresses were approved the test was passed i love it Affiliate marketing is allowed, but your affiliate marketing programs ha are subject to review. You have to basically ask permission. You don't have to worry about um, affiliate marketing spam coming from the same service you use. If you go for an enterprise account, you can get a dedicated IP address, which means that you know your email will be separated from everybody else's, as far as the email as far as uh, ser email services are concerned. Which means that if somebody uses a benchmark email to send a bunch of spam, your email should remain unaffected. Lastly, let's talk about support and pricing. The email and live chat options are available 24 seven every day. And there's also a phone support option. My experiences were a bit of a mixed bag, if I'm honest. I had good um, experiences with the live chat. The email was okay. And I had a little trouble with the phone, though that could be because I'm in Mexico. You know how that goes. All in all, though, uh, I felt that the support team did a pretty good job and I, I have no real complaints. And as for the pricing, Benchmark emails, I can't put exact prices in the video because those are subject to change. If you want full and updated prices, again, <laughs> link in the description. And honestly, they're pretty good. The pretty good prices for pretty good features. All in all, I had a decent time with Benchmark email. I found very few flaws in its feature set. It did exactly what it set out to do. The features were streamlined. They were not hard to learn or to use. Everything was fairly intuitive. I mean, of course, if you've never done email marketing before, there's always going to be a learning curve. But I had a pretty solid time, all in all. But for all the information, again, Check the link in the description. How many times am I going to say that? A bit of coffee for every time I say that. Well, I've been Ezekiel Bruni for Website Planet. I hope this video has been informative and fun and a, hopefully a bit educational. I hope you all have a wonderful time. This is Ezekiel Bruni signing out. 
signing out. You know what? I'm just going to leave that blooper in. (laughs) 